Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is dividing fractions. So, I have here a topic for grade 6 students, for grade 5 students, and maybe some of the grade 4 students that we have in dividing fractions. So, in dividing fractions, guys, kailangan nyo natandaan yung tinatawag natin keep, change, and flip. Again, you need to memorize keep, change, and flip. Yan yung method na gagamitin natin in dividing fraction. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para lagi kang updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this. So we have here the examples. So I have, I have here five examples on how to divide fractions. And then again, I want you to keep in mind that you need to keep change, and flip in dividing fractions. So let's have number one. We have here 3 over 5 divided by 2 thirds. Again, 3 over 5 divided by 2 thirds. So how are we going to apply keep, change, and flip? Yung keep natin, ang ibig sabihin nun, you need to keep or copy the first fraction. And then yung change naman natin is you need to change this operation, division symbol to multiplication. And then yung flip naman natin, you need to flip this fraction like this. Meaning nun, you need to find the reciprocal of this fraction. Okay? So again, Keep that in mind that you need to keep, change, and then flip. Okay? So that you can do the process of dividing fractions. So ngayon, as you can see, uh, yung knowledge natin about multiplying fractions ay magagamit natin dito. So in multiplying fractions, you need to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 3 times 3, that will give you 9. Over 5 times 2, that is 10. This is the final answer for item number 1. By keeping, by changing, and flipping, you can divide fractions. So let's move on with item number 2. We have 1 half divided by 1 third. So keep 1 half. Keep, not, keep natin yung 1 half. Change the operation to multiplication. And then flip. So we have 3 over 1. And multi our next step here is to multiply the numerators. 1 and 3. That will give you 3. And then multiply also your denominators. That will give you 2. So in other teachers or in other references, 3 over 2 is accepted as final answer. But always keep in mind that in simplifying fraction, you need to express your final answer in lowest terms or in mixed numbers. So, lagyan natin dito ng word na or. So, we need to convert it. 3 divided by 2, that is 1. And then, 1 times 2, 2. Subtract natin 1. So, 3 over 2 is equivalent to 1 and 1 half. These are the possible answer na meron tayo for item number 2. Now, let's move on to item number 3 and item number 4. Again, bear in mind or keep in mind that you need to use keep, change, and flip. Let's keep 3 over 5. Change the division sign to multiplication symbol. And then flip 1 fourth. It will become 4 over 1. And then as usual, you need to multiply 3 fourths. 3 times 4, that will give you 12. And then 5 times 1, that will give you 5. So, your fractions here, or your fraction here is an improper fraction. So, basically, you need to convert it into a mixed number. So, try natin. 12 divided by 5. So, this, this is 2. 2 times 5, that will give you 10. Then, your remainder is 2. So, the equivalent fraction, or a mixed number of 12 over 5, is none other than... 2 and 2 over 5. This is the answer for item number 
3. Now, how about this one? Look at the numbers. You have 30 over 24 divided by 72 over 45. Let's try using keep, change, and flip. Keep 30 over 40. Then change the operation to multiplication. And then flip 45 over 72. Now, when you multiply 30 and 45, the number is too big. Or the product is a bigger number. Same with 40 and 72. So, what I'm gonna do here is, before multiplying the numerators and denominators, try natin na i-simplify or i-palitin pa yung numbers na meron tayo. Okay? Paano kaya gagawin natin? So, ah, this is not 40, sorry. This is 24. So, as you can see, ano ba yung pwede natin gawin dito? So, I know na ang 30... Ay, ang, four, ang 45, saan ba sila parehas na, ano, na divisible? So, I have here, I think, yung 45, we can rewrite 45 as 9 times 5. Yung 72 naman natin is, can be written into 9 times 8. Tama? And then yung 30 natin, pwede siya maging 6 times 5 over, yung 24 natin can be factored out as 6 times 4. Ginagawa natin to para ma-reduce natin yung number kasi masyado siya malaki pag multiply So as you can see, mayroon tayong 6 over 6. We can eliminate this one. We also have 9 and 9. So ang meron na lang tayo ay yung 5 times 5. That will give you 25 over 4 times 8. That is 32. I think this is the final answer. 25 over 32. Okay? So, let's move on to item number 5. Look at item number 5. This one is quite unfamiliar, but still division of fraction. Kapag ito yung encounter nyo, yung gantong given, this given is also equivalent to 24 over 63 divided by 32 over 27. Again, let's apply keep, change, and flip. Keep, change, flip. Now, as you can see, the numbers are too big for you to multiply. And then at the end, pag malaki na yung number niyan, in lowest terms mo rin. So, before multiplying, palitin na natin yung mga numbers natin. So, you have 24, 63, 27, 32. So, itong 63 sa 27, both of them are divisible by 9. Meron silang factor ng 9. So, lagay natin dito, ito 9 times 3. Ito naman ay 9 times 7. And for 32 and 24, both of them is, are divisible by 12. So, 12 times 2. And then 32, ay hindi, hindi pala. So, parehas silang divisible by 8. So, let's have 8 times 3. Ito naman 8 din to. 8 times 4. So, as you can see, we can eliminate this. We can eliminate this. We can eliminate 9 and 9. Ano pa ba? Wala na. So, try natin. Multiply natin. 3 times 3. That will give you 9. And then, 7 times 4. That will give you... 28. Okay? Meron pa bang lowest terms? Wala na. This is the final answer for item number 5. So, I hope from those examples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in dividing fractions, ay natutunan nyo on how, natuto kayo mag-divide ng fractions gamit yung tinatawag natin keep, change, and flip. Okay? So, I have here 5, or oh sorry, 3 questions on how to divide that you're going to divide fractions so i want you to apply what you have learned from this video at sana yung sagot nyo ay makita natin sa comment section so i'm doing this para ma-apply nyo agad yung natutunan nyo sa ating tutorial video so i have here three different questions 
And I hope na natuto kayo sa ating tutorial videos. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe. At ihit mo na rin ang bell button para updated ka sa lahat ng mga uploads natin. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!